Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 using the mod Red Flood in which we gotta talk about Kurunsky resigning. Kurunsky has decided to resign. Goodbye, I will never miss you. You vile corrupt social democrat, despised populist, and enemy of the people. But Kurunsky is gone. Counting on United True to Vic Cadet government, Kurunsky gave his blessing to Pavel Milyukov as a successor. Which turn raised protests from left wing of his party, many of whom have already fled to the oppositional and narrowed next to the social democrats. He has ceremonially given the reins of power to the vacancy in Abim. I take his personal belongings from the Soviet president's office to the hotel. See you there for the next week. Subsequently, various groups in the Russian Republic vie for power, including military cliques that believe in various transformations of Russian society. The cadets hold substantial power in the Soviet as a coalitionist of Kerensky, and many expect them to form the base of the new government as the Tudovic's reputation is undermined, but an increasingly strong voice of the opposition from the left, headed by Alexander Bogdanov, the Bolsheviks demands a total resignation of the entire old government. Though holding the majority in the Soviet, the various socialist parties of Zeltorosia still haven't healed their revolutionary wounds despite this fleeting moment of unity. Observers comment that the dogmatic Leninists of Kamenev are the Menshevik moderates willing to work with the government may undercut the United Front's plans. This deterioration of political stability has led to political violence on the streets, and there are already rumors of a planned military intervention to create a new type of government by force. As chaos ensues, the fate of the Russian Republic lies in balance. Military? Cadets? Bogdanov? And on, I definitely won't go into this for some time, but we're going to go with the cadets for this campaign for now. And the Freedom Block. The cadets have prevailed, and hopefully our unstable coalition of Democrats and Freedom Lovers can hold on and survive these terrible towns against Kerensky's social democratic nonsense. And the populism of dictators like Leon Trotsky may freedom be the order of the day. Long live the dollar. After Kerensky had resigned, the Supreme Soviet decided it was time to protect the Russian Republic's democracy and enact uh, emergency elections. After hundreds of thousands of Russians, Han and Manchurians fought incredibly at solution by Kerensky's policies, they supported his resignation heartily. In spite of his shortcomings and anti-democratic tendencies, many knew that he was an important part of Russian history and a good president, or at least he used to be. No worries now, though, the right cadets, or cadets have been elected and Pavel Milyukov has come to power in the Republic, quickly getting to work and making a rousing, powerful speech about human freedom and the reforms planned to empower the people. Alyssa Rosenbaum, leader of a radical faction within the cadets, has been tasked with overseeing the reforms, but her ideological persistence in giving Emilyukov a headache just stays into the job. She's been making such outrageous demands as the abolition of taxes and the disbandment of multiple government agencies, even the police. It seems that one soon one of them will go, though it's not yet clear which one it will be. Atlas must make his choice. Freedom block. A heavy burden. <coughs> and reform the Alasser. Uh, the Revolutionary Army of Foreign Russia needs help in reestablishing itself as a new power that is able to reclaim Moscow through diplomacy or through military means, of course. A heavy burden. After end days of endless debates and a few hurled mathematics textbooks, the rivalry between Milyukov and Rosenbaum came to a head with both the man and the resigna resignation of the other. The cadet party is nervous, aware of how the vulture circling should any weakness be exploited by the rival parties. But if you would allow conversations with the acting president behind closed doors, the decision must be made. Oh, oh, my finger slipped. Oh, look at this person. Rosenbaum Objectivist. Hmm, I wonder who this person could be, as we're going to go to total oh, partial mobilization. And Atlas Shrugged, did you know that? I hereby swear my personal oath to undertake dutifully my roles in individual bearing responsibility, personal responsibility for myself. To lead by example, build for myself, to succeed over others, and strive to achieve for myself. By these actions, will my people prosper and my children's future be secure. State Atheism. That hurts us quite a bit. Holy crap. An individual mind. Wow. You get literally no political power and hurts your consumer goods. Summer Cool War? A revolutionary objectivity. That's not ter Oh, that's not great. Minus 25% war support. Holy crap. Rupture is coming. Blind to race. Buy the Chinese. Rational state. Liberate the markets. No freedom for parasites. And everyone for themselves. We should remove the famine. Seems kind of radical to me. Capitalism for all. Because that determines how much political power we get every day, right? Atlas Shrug. Let's go with this one next first. Oh, that's not a bad discussion of doctrine. Air Fleet of Russia, Russian Revolutionary Fleet. Rapture is coming, huh? Religion is not profitable. Let me get a research slot. I'm gonna go to this one. The personal and spiritual creeds of people generally are not marketable the same way branding is. Products and lifestyle should be the creed of the people, not so superstitious nonsense. The new material religion would decouple uh, the masses from their metaphysical or metaphorical opiates. 
also let you know this is on a of struggle so we will see what happens seems like we're gonna need a lot of war support a lot of weekly war support capitals of brawl is not bad daily big fire is okay stock pasta for war um oh and there goes spain always dying oh you gotta love the famine you gotta love it we've got 12 people here maybe revolutionary objectivity the only reasonable means of liberating the masses from slavery is to make each of the ma ma them masters of their own destiny. The myth of class warfare must be cast out in favor of revolution against irrationality. Can we actually justify people? No. Oh, we need more political power. Yeah, we can. It's good to know. As everyone's killing themselves, you know, pretty normal stuff. Can we see any volunteers? Oh, well, we actually can. Well, I said no. And they said yeah. So I guess we'll help them out. Lots of any conspiracy seeds. Oh. Anna Pauker. Great Divide. Nice. Well, let's see what we can do here. Maybe get some army XP, maybe we can't, but you know what, whatever. We'll do the best we can. That's all we ask, right? Well, let's put them out, Sergey. The Republicans win general elections, eh? Well, all right. Excuse me, Senor. Please go in. It's getting close, 1937. It's getting close. Yep. Did your mind? Oh boy. The rapture is coming. The dream of the objectivist wing of the cadets, the people's liberation through absolute deregulation of the economy. All this soon become reality. Skeptics have likened the ideas to a ramblings of the Acephal in France, and they see that they will soon see the truth. It doesn't help that we have no fuel, but whatever. Down to five. Not good. In the Amazon, eh? Actually, these divisions are 12 combos, which is not great. But they might be okay. 30. Oops, we're not even making divisions. My bad. Um, that type of division actually isn't too bad in itself. Make three. Make a horse division, too. Um, actually... G boys. Make one. Buy the Chinese. I did not think we'd be buying people in this episode. But here we are. You and me and buying a bunch of Asians. We need way more guns though. That'd be nice. At the same time, when you go to war, right? Uh, you know, oh my goodness, it's going to take forever to go to war with them. Which is why we need to start now. And kill them all off. Two days. There you go. Uh oh. Persia. Well, it pierced your armor, yeah. That sucks. Light tanks. We're not even making any light tanks. God dang it. What if instead I converted you to infantry? Or cavalry division. Just throw them in there. And that'll save us a couple extra light tanks. Just in case. Well, the Rapture is coming by the Chinese. Let's get way more stability, which would be nice. Month population blind to race.
Oh. Discussion of command. Single command principle. Well, sounds like we don't definitely don't want single command council. Just by Chinese. Uh, corporate exploitation in southern Manchuria has left a unique opportunity for the purchase of land and by extension. The people living there. We should make an offer to the Fengxian Mantetsu government. Happy February. Construction. Why not? Ready to get encircled? Why not? Rapture, rapture, rapture. Well, let's see. Since we have this person, can we get everybody here? Famine relief efforts. Many proposals to relieve the famine of the table. Some have been enacted, so others have not. The pain and suffering continues to pace in many areas of the country. Continued comfort of the leadership in Harbin is causing a distinct sense of resentment from the outlying towns of far off cities such as Karabarovsk. If something's not done, the Revolutionary Republic may see an uprising of its own. Do whatever is necessary. Oh. Well, that wouldn't be good for us, now would it? Not bad. Derivation of culture. But who needs stability? Gives that political power. Blind race. Uh, well, rampant nationalism is dividing ethnic groups into the world around the world. We know better. There's nothing to say that our nation must be racially homogeneous. Russia has scarcely been so in all its history. Therefore, the new order shall see that races of people uh, shall not see the races of people, only their quality. Do they suck or not? That is a question. Alright, technically I do want to keep, take that tile too. That seems like a lot of fun. We need way more guns though. Huh. Yeah, we don't even have light tanks. Crap. That's not good. Do we spare light tanks here? Yeah, we do. It's not bad. Mm. Infantry is really not bad. That's pretty good, in all honesty. Could use some engineers, though. Ah, you might be able to get him. Maybe not. Now you might be able to get him. Or maybe not. That's the cap. Oh, the cap is up there. Okay. Makes sense. Grab this guy next, or this guy. Yes, please. Nice. Here we go. Rational state. Liberate the markets. No freedom for parasites. Those who will not work, those who do not work, and those who do not work enough to succeed must be processed in a possible fix. New correctional facilities will op operate on the extraction of productivity of unproductive people, and those who do not make it did not deserve to. Nice. I love this freedom. Integrated Manchus, not bad. Basically, we have to race down this way just because, um, well, Bam's going to hit pretty hard. Nice. 
This is an encirclement. We gotta help exploit it. Nice. Oh, good job, guys. Just hold here for now. Bog down their soldiers. Maybe. Appeal to neighbors. Build up a surplus. Probably start working on this stuff too. How many more days do we have? Not that many days. Probably good to send them up now. I'll go need that as well. Even though we will suffer some supply consumption problems as well. Individual mind. I really don't want to do that one. But we have to. Everyone's an individual with his own thoughts, feelings, and biases. This is a fundamental flaw in the proletarian ideal. Or ideals. They believe that the individuality of man can be broken with proper comradeship. Comradeship and social solidarity. How wrong they are. Nice. These guys out. You know, I forgot some plans, even though we can't really send that many plans at all. But let's go do this. The PCLF established. We have established a PCLF, which are private prisons under forever law, which seek to ensure that our people have access to the highest quality treatment in prison despite. Committing transgressions against private laws and private citizens. Alas, thus is the beauty of the private property, even excellent to the lowest of the low. Freedom for all, my friends. The golden chain of industry. Well, the right speak of breaking the chains of bondage, these chains are in fact gilded. One need not remove that which enriches oneself. The chain of industry is the means is the means by which man earns his bread in the modern world. Oh, you betcha. Sergey. A little bit of a Slovak revolution. The Jews are free. A little bit more fuel for you and me. Making it easier for us in total. Um, on the week six in the court. Cavalry. Oh, no. That we click. Currently stuck in Mongolia, seeks to skirt both the position or border by entering the non aggression treaty. While the net offer may seem inconsequential and obviously by choice, the possibility of using Mongolia as a feature for a more favorable route into central Russia than Balkalia and Tunguska remain a tempting alternative. The Anhui may not suspect it, but Russia may need. May need to once again trample Chinese Mongolian sovereignty to secure its future. Should we accept their offer, that route may be closed off to us, at least temporarily, but we would gain a valuable potential friend among a vast array of enemies. That's very well. On we clique. If I call it, you know what? Non aggression pact. Hmm. So we're gonna have friends. You know what? We focus on these guys. 
the trans by call and the curry and down here and then up here and then up here. You know what? We'll accept it for now. We're looking for our own best self interests. Superior firepower? I guess it is. Golden chains of industry, please. Keep grinding that army XP. Hopefully, core everything here, too. 0.56, good god, that sucks. Everyone for themselves. Society is, co is called, it's constructed from individuals, a nuclear family, tribe, nation. These are all constructed of free individuals. Individuals who ought to have the freedoms of the masters of their own destinies. It's free from social pressure, false morality, and myths. Oh my goodness. Not bad. Taking a while though. Magadon, yes, keep going. Ah, we got him finally. Alright, let's so come over here. G boys. Vernudinsk. Um, training programs. Oh god, we're not going to be able to re reunify Russia, are we? Armor trains. And then rational state? Liberate the markets is this one first. Strict adherence to empiricism and scientific fact will dictate the forward direction of an objective of society. While the evidence is true, only the materials is real and the bare necessity of territorial security is a prerogative of the state. All else is the domain of the free people. It's almost 38, so I'll scrap this. It's going to take a while to do, too. And then liberate the markets, of course. Red tape, regulation, arbitrary rules. All must be torn down. The market should be allowed to flow and simulate itself without interference from the state. And it's due to revolutionary commanders. Establishing a proper officer academy of vast and the quality of the military staff. From generals all the way down to squad leaders and company commanders. And here we are at there, everybody. Trans by call. Needs to go. How well we'll do? Well, we'll see. What do they have? Siberian General Government. Wait, what? Russian Empire. Uh, they're a puppet of them already? Holy crap. Um, there might be some not totally cheatsy stuff happening between this episode and the next to make it more fair and balanced between us. But we'll save that for the next episode, probably. Because we don't get cores, which makes sense, considering who we are. Um, we don't get any extra man, so which means we get no extra manpower. So we'll see. We will definitely see how well we're going to do. In the meantime, I did get the first level of uh, Army XP, or the Spirit Firepower, really. There you go. And then, uh, good. Go ahead. Anti air planes against some casts. Here, grab some of that because you can. Go to Nudinsk. Yavol. Head into here. See if you can beat him up. See if you can grind a little more army XP out. Because that's a pretty good thing to get, right? Right. Alright, well. I don't drink a picture of them takes forever, doesn't it? Discussion of doctrine. The official army doctrine is yet to be determined. 
after the success of the Brusilov Offensive in 1916 and the success of the offensive operations during the Civil War, it's become clear that some of the old guard ideas of infantry combat are outmade and or outmoded or mo modded and changes needed. The question remains: Where will the Army's strength lie? In deregulation. That's right. I don't know how we have military police, but didn't really have it. Ah, artillery and five trains. That's all we got. I mean, the Moldovan War. Curry. Well, hopefully we can do okay here, and if not, we're all gonna die. We will literally all die here. And that's probably not a good thing. It's usually not. Oh boy, but you know what? I can make this a very short episode, but we're gonna wait. So go with Vaz Villain Spetsy. Kraskolny. Well, we've already gone to logistic companies. No. Grand Battle Plan, focus on firepower, probably. Go with Von Petsy. The military leaders of the most experienced should be given the reins, the leaders from before the revolution, honest officers from the empire, who march with the conscience and join the revolutionaries. They should not lead us astray, focus on firepower. A horrendous loss of life in the Velikia Volnia cannot be repeated. Mass infantry charges with reckless disregard for life can be supplanted by successive firepower. We shall whittle down our foes with minimal loss for sheer force of fire. Artillery modernizations. Modernizing artillery batteries and using combat reach further. Strike harder and be more mobile and enable. A much greater effective use before the infantry must be sent in. Experience of previous wars. The Velikavonian Civil War have taught our commanders much of the new modern uh, manner of warfare, so we must learn from the past to see the future, of course. And let's go into discussion of command. Let's do Russian Revolutionary Fleet now. We'll do the uh, plain one. An air fleet of the Free Russia. Robust command of the skies of a free Russia will allow us greater freedom to maneuver our armies. Research into new air tactics are an important step in gaining an advantage in this field of battle. Oh, we have a the nations. Zyoto Rus is an ally in an often maligned country in order to make an impression, uh, impression on the international stage and research art and claim as rightful leaders of all of Russia. Oh, I didn't realize this. I should have realized this. Ah, claim states. Ah, that'd be very nice. Um, I guess liberation of the motherland. For the East secure, we can at least secure Russia proper. The motherland beckons her sons and daughters home. Yakutia is switching sides. Yakutia uh, was initially aligned with the Republic. But the coward Stark betrayed the cause and joined Kolchak. Oh boy. Uh, it's high time we retook the Yakutia government. But it will end it here for now. If you enjoyed the video though, leave a uh, little bit of a like for Anne Rhine. Anne Rhine. Anne Rand. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we will struggle our way forward to trying to reunite Russia somehow, some way. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.